Amber Heard is scared that her new lawyers will throw her under the bus after what she did to Elaine Bredehoft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take our afternoon recess then for 15 minutes. Do not discuss the case with anybody and don't do any outside research, okay? The actress fired her famous lawyer just after the defamation trial against her ex-husband ended. It didn't end pretty because she didn't win, but that doesn't mean she should fire her best lawyer, especially when she's the only person who fought for her even after the trial. She's really desperate to win this. This also happened during the trial when she thought her PR team was inadequate so she fired them. Amber split ways with her longtime lawyer, Elaine Bredehoft, and decided to hire First Amendment attorneys David Axelrod and Jay Ward Brown of law firm Ballard Spar to lead her counsel. Then Rottenborn will still be with her as well. Well, uh, rejection, here's, hearsay. Wait, you, you asked the question. Okay. Oh. Next question. Okay, he said he sustained an injury to his finger. Amber's old team worked really hard during that Fairfax trial, but they were no match for Johnny Depp's lawyers. Plus, Amber and her witnesses' stories were bad and not aligned at all, so Team Heard couldn't really win. After an attempt of mistrial was denied, Amber's team filed to appeal the verdict last month, but she doesn't want Elaine to be any part of it. A lot of people predicted that her new lawyers are already turning on her or they're about to go against her because of what she did to their co-lawyer. The media has been calling this Amber's next legal nightmare and they aren't afraid to talk about it. Were they just on her side weeks ago? Is it that bad? It turns out that it really is the worst. Her new lawyers have decided to beg her insurance companies not to push through with their plans of suing her. New York Marine and Travelers Insurance have been secretly battling each other just because of their client. Aside from that, neither one of the insurance companies want to help the actress pay Johnny Depp. She already spent $8 million even before the trial started and now she has to pay her ex a whopping $10 million. Her new lawyers are beating around the bush and told the two companies that their client is under a lot of stress because of what's happening. Apparently, she doesn't know what's happening between the companies and her team is afraid that this will get worse if Elaine Bredehoff decides to unveil her deepest, darkest secrets. They're blaming the companies and are gaslighting them by saying that this shouldn't be how they treat their clients. We guess her new lawyers already know that she will drop anyone that doesn't make her look good so they are just going straight to the point. Amber did change her lawyers quite a few times. She first had Eric George to defend her who is actor Mel Gibson's lawyer and then she had Roberta Kaplan who successfully fought for equal rights in court. They're scared that the two might join forces with Elaine Bredehoff to talk about Amber. The internet is going crazy about this story. One person said, It's funny how she dug herself in a deep hole and now her own team is ramming her into it even deeper. She thought she would get away with playing a victim and blaming an innocent. All this is her karma slow burning karma at that and not instant karma, while another person added she's getting deeper and deeper into debt when all she had to do was after receiving her 7 million divorce settlement. Walk away and enjoy her life, but no 7 million wasn't enough from Johnny, she wanted it all. She's brought all this on herself and why? Because of greed? The media is also having a fest with this bombshell violation. We're most likely going to hear more about this in the next days, but for now remember that some of this information are all based on theories and opinions that shouldn't be considered facts. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.